Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Moses, When Harriet Tubman Led Her People to Freedom. This book is written by Carol Boston Weatherford and illustrated by Kadir Nelson. So friends, this is the front cover. This is the back cover. This is the spine. And you can see the spine says Moses. OK, friends, let's get started. Moses. This is the title page. On a summer night, Harriet gazes at the sky and talks with God. I am your child, Lord. Yet master owns me, drives me like a mule. Now he means to sell me south in chains to work cotton, rice, indigo, or sugar cane never to see my family again. God speaks in a whippoorwill song. I set the North Star in the heavens and I mean for you to be free. Harriet sees the star twinkling. My mind is made up. Tomorrow I flee. God wraps her in the blanket of night and she returns to the cabin, sleeps beside her husband one last time. The next day, Harriet tells not a soul of her plans. She grips the ax to chop wood, breathes deeply and murmurs, Lord, I'm gonna hold steady onto you. And God whispers back in the breeze, I'm gonna see you through, child. Looks like she's chopping wood here. At dusk, Harriet chants. When that old chariot comes, I'm going to leave you. She hopes her loved ones hear her song and know it means farewell. While the plantation sleeps, Harriet prays, Lord, send me a sign. Owl screeches, the hour has come. Harriet slips into the night. Running through the swamp, she hears frogs croaking and her own heart pounding. Lord, I can't make it alone. In the moon's reflection on the creek, she sees God's face. Harriet, you dream that saints saved you, but mortals would give you refuge. The woman in the wagon who always spoke kindly to me. Yes, Harriet, I must go to her. The woman points Harriet to safe havens, hiding places for runaways. And Harriet steals into the darkness. She creeps through the woods. Her heart flutters. Hush, hoofbeats. Please, Lord, don't let them catch me and take me back to face master's whip. Don't let my journey end here. In the underbrush, Harriet sinks into a deep sleep. God cradles her. When she wakes, the men on horseback have passed and day breaks. Thank you, Lord, for washing over me. In a clearing, the safe haven, Harriet knows that most strangers would turn her in, not help her. But the farmer's wife feeds Harriet, then tells her to sweep the yard. I don't know who to trust, Lord. Search for my face in theirs and for my hands in their work. What have you in your hands? In a dust cloud, she sees the broom become a staff, then a rifle. Harriet startles but holds on. I will arm you against your enemies, but you will not harm a soul, and no harm will come to you. The dust settles as she stops sweeping, and all is as it was. At nightfall, Harriet climbs into a wagon and the farmer covers her with blankets. As the, wa as the wagon wobbles along, Harriet worries that it is heading to jail. Should I leap, Lord? Trust me to protect you, child. A heart song lulls her to sleep. Swing low, sweet chariot. The wagon stops at dawn. 
Harriet walks till her, eggs, till her legs ache. Then she leans against a tree. Lord, I miss my folks. Harriet, your father taught you to read the stars, predict the weather, gather wild berries and make cures from roots. Use his lessons to be free. You will meet again. A mosquito buzzes in Harriet's ear. She rises and moves on. She looks like she's very tired from this journey. So much walking. A boatman rows her up river. Back on shore, hounds snarl, sniff for Harriet's trail. She races as fast as she can. Lord, I can't outrun them. God speaks through a babbling brook. Shed your shoes, wade in the water to trick the dogs. Upstream, the barking ceases and fear washes away. Thank you, Lord. Harriet's feet bleed and her gut churns. Under the stars, she draws near to God. Lord, don't let nobody turn me round. I'd rather die than be a slave. Harriet, keep going. You have already glimpsed the future. She recalls dreams where she flew like a bird, sank and was lifted by ladies in white who pulled her north. Fly, Harriet. Your faith has wings. Up ahead, she hears word that patrollers are nabbing runaways, and she crouches for days in a potato hole, dreams she is buried alive. Have you deserted me, Lord? Harriet, when you were a girl, you hid in a pig pen to shun the whip. You fought hogs for table scraps, almost starved before you faced the lash. I am with you now, as I was then. An old prayer comes back to her. Lord, make me strong. Help me fight. After seven days, Harriet rises from that hole like a sapling, reaches for the sun as if to touch God's hand. By moonlight, she marches on, making her way mile after rugged mile, hiding in haystacks, attics, and barns, holding God's hand all the while. She often wearies. How far, Lord? As far as you can walk with me, my child, and I can carry you. When Harriet is about to drop, a couple in a wagon ride by. They say slavery is a sin and they take her on the last leg of her journey. Not far now, child, not far now. In the promised land, Philadelphia, the sun shines gold in the trees and Harriet feels light as a cloud. She studies herself from head to toe to see if she has wings. Is this heaven, Lord? Not heaven, Harriet, free soil. She's finally made it to freedom. But freedom brings new woes. Lord, I am a stranger here. All my kin are down south. Would you like to see them? As Harriet dusts, her family faces, her family's faces appear in the wood grain. She wipes a tear from the table. I would make a home for them here. I would give my own life to free them. Then go back for them, daughter. But first, go to my house to prepare for the journey. Harriet goes to church, finds not just holy ground, but a stopping place, a station along the Underground Railroad that slaves travel to freedom. Harriet hands out shirts and shoes, serves butter beans and biscuits to newly arrived runaways, while agents who plot escape paths pass on secret routes that she learns by heart. Finally, a conductor, a guide, she turns to God. I am ready, Lord, lead me. Harriet, I will make a way for you. Risking her own life, Harriet returns to the dreaded South and rescues her family. But she dreams of slaves still in the yoke. 
She hears their groans, sees their tears, tosses and turns in her sleep. Then God opens her eyes. Harriet, be the Moses of your people. But I am a lowly woman, Lord. Harriet, I have blessed you with a strong body, a clever mind. You heal the sick and see the future. Use your gifts to break the chains. I will do as you say, Lord. I will show others the way to freedom that you have shown me. Save all you can, daughter. And Harriet heeds God's will, goes south again and again and again, keeps her bands of runaways moving. Come storms and rough country, clear to Canada, Canaan land. And when free souls sing her praises, she gives glory where it is due. It wasn't me, it was the Lord. I always trusted him to lead me, and he always does. Well done, Moses. Well done. The end. So this book was called Moses, when Harriet Tubman led her people to freedom. Thanks for coming to Storytime, friends, and I'll see you next time.